Is it just me or have Major League Baseball players gotten faster? Because the group of players in today's video feel like they are faster than when I've done this video in years past. So it's simple. I'm going to be telling you who the 10 fastest players are in Major League Baseball this year. Shout out to Baseball Savant for giving us this information. So cool to see how fast guys actually are. Because sometimes you watch them and you go, that dude's fast. But being able to put a number to him, that's what makes it different. Big shout out to Underdog as well. Sponsor of the channel. Use code GNM when you sign up and Underdog will match your first time deposit up to $100. Here my picks for $20 today. Let me know how you guys do. Now for the fastest players in baseball. For the 10th fastest player in Major League Baseball, Arizona Diamondbacks outfielder Jake McCarthy, who comes in at 30 feet per second. Fast. McCarthy is definitely known for his athletic ability. Hitting wise, not so great this year. A 245 average, 325 on base, 331 slugging for a 656 OPS. But he flies in the outfield, plays a great right field, and not to mention sick athlete. Of course, stealing 26 bases thus far in 86 games this year, only being caught three times. He's a triple machine five triples more than he has home runs. And the fun fact I have about Jake McCarthy is he was such a sick high school football player. He was first team all state running back in the state of Pennsylvania, the same state that had Saquon Barkley running back for the New York Giants. He was on the second team. Jake McCarthy was better than him. Sick athlete, great right fielder, well, at least defensively and athletically, and the 10th fastest player in the league. For the ninth fastest player in Major League Baseball, technically a tie with Jake McCarthy at number 10, Blake Perkins, outfielder of the Milwaukee Brewers. I actually had no idea Blake Perkins was this fast. Watching him play, I just didn't get that feeling, but it makes sense. He's been pretty good out in the outfield this year, currently on the IL with an injury. And similarly to McCarthy, the offense just hasn't really been that great this year. The highlight has been his speed and his glove. In 56 games, two homers, four doubles, and 16 RBIs, only stealing five bases with a 212 batting average, 311 on base, 297 slugging, and a 608 OPS. But when you see him run, it actually does make a little bit sense that he is here in the top 10. Blake Perkins, very fast player, former second round pick by the Washington Nationals at a Verado High School in Arizona. For the eighth fastest player in Major League Baseball, San Diego Padres outfielder Jose Azokar. Now, Azokar, definitely not much of a hitter. Having a bit of a difficult season with the bat, 28 games, doesn't have a homer, two doubles, hitting 222 with a 236 on base, 259 slugging, and 496 OPS, but he has stole six bases in those 28 games. Showing off that speed is basically what has kept Azokar in the majors, because again, the bat just really isn't there, and at 27 years old, you're kind of waiting for it to wake up, but the speed is legit, coming in at 30.1 feet per second this season. Weirdly, his home plate to first base time is the slowest of anybody in the top 10, but once he gets those legs going, Jose Azokar can absolutely fly. Definitely his best ability. Next up at number 7, this player makes a ton of sense if you watched him play. That's Jorge Mateo of the Baltimore Orioles. Mateo used to be a top prospect and it was always about his speed. He had the speed to be elite if he could ever wake that bat up, and I thought we did see that bat come along this year when it started off with the Orioles so hot this season, but he has cooled off mightily and the numbers have dropped. A 209 average with a 257 on base, 338 slugging and 595 OPS is a big, big difference than what it was after the first month. He still is stealing bases when he gets on base, 25 stolen bases in 94 games, but he's lost a little bit of time on the Orioles this year, not playing anymore every single day, and it makes sense. The bat just hasn't been there, but still has value as a pinch runner, can play shortstop, can play center field, and he can absolutely fly lightning fast. Only caught four times stealing this season, and he led the American League in stolen bases in 2022. Just missing on the top five at number six, one of the best young players in all of Major League Baseball, Corey. Corbin Carroll of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks just got some silly athletes, Corbin Carroll being one of them. Not only is he fast, but of course he is one of the best players, like I said, in the league this season. 113 games, 21 homers, 23 doubles, 6 triples, and 59 RBIs, stealing 36 bases, only being caught 3 times. Disgusting. 271 batting average, 351 on base, 512 slung in at 863 OPS, made the all-star team, the favorite to win the rookie of the year, plays a great outfield, can even play a little bit of center field. There's nothing not to like about Corbin Carroll. He's lightning fast, and he has the fast home plate to first base number of anybody in the top 10 at 4.08. Similar speeds to Jose Azokar and Jorge Mateo at 30.1 feet per second in total. He is the full package five tool player. Corbin Carroll is sick. Can't wait to see what he does the rest of his career. Getting the top five started at number five, the oldest player in today's video. That's going to be Trey Turner of the Philadelphia Phillies. While the offense hasn't been what we expect of Trey Turner this season, he still is running wild, stealing 22 bases yet to be caught as a Philadelphia Philly. But I did mention his offense hasn't been great this year. 252 average with a 303 on base, 398 slugging, and a 701 OPS. Those are all career lows for someone who I thought was the clear and best shortstop in baseball last year. It's been a bit of a step back, but I think it's just adjusting to a new team, getting paid all that money. I'm sure he'll be fine in the long run. It's encouraging that he really hasn't slowed down much. I mean, 30.3 feet per second is absolutely blazing fast. And even coming from the right side, his home plate to first base time is among some of the fastest in Major League Baseball. While Trey Turner's bat has slowed down, the legs have not. He's still incredibly fast. Next up at number four, Bubba Thompson, new 
newly acquired Kansas City Royal just got DFA'd by the Rangers. Royals picked him up. They actually have the next three players here, which is kind of funny, but Bubba Thompson can absolutely fly. He makes some great plays in center field. Defense is definitely a strong suit, and especially because of that athletic ability, he's able to get to a lot of balls, but he doesn't really hit much. I mean, you're looking at a guy who hit 170 with a 237 on base, 283 slugging, 520 OPS this year. You're not getting him for the bat. You're getting him for the speed. You're getting him for the defense, and he's just another one of these incredibly fast Kansas City Royals players that takes up the next three. Bubba Thompson, fourth fastest player in baseball with a 30.4 feet per second sprint speed. At number three, I mentioned it's going to be a Kansas City Royal. Bobby Witt Jr. is just such a sick athlete, such a sick player, really starting to see him break out, which is great because he had a great rookie season and he's getting even better this year. We've already seen a career high in stolen bases at 34, in home runs at 21, triples at seven, and he's hitting 272 with a 313 on base, 482 slugging, 795 OPS, OPS plus at 116. Another guy who is just a complete package, former number two overall pick back in the 2019 draft. He's already come up and made quite an impact for the Royals. I think he's already their best player on their team. Power, speed, glove, arm, the combinations are there to be a five tool player. And Bobby Witt is definitely special. Another guy coming in at 30.4 feet per second on his sprint speed and a home plate to first base time of 4.14, one of the fastest in the league. Bobby Witt is a special player. Tied with all the other Royals coming in at number two, Dyrone Blanco, outfielder, again, of the Kansas City Royals. Blanco, also 30, sneaky 30. Didn't know that because he's only played two seasons in the majors. But Blanco can absolutely fly in 39 games, 14 stolen bases. He has been caught four times, doesn't really get on base much, but when he does, he's trying to steal, and that makes sense. They use him as a pinch runner quite often. Of his 19 hits this season, six doubles, four triples, so 10 of them have been extra base hits. Hitting 241 with a 294 on base, 418 slugging, and 712 OPS. Again, the value for Dyrone Blanco is going to be the speed. It's going to be the glove. It's going to be the athleticism that he brings to your squad because at 30.4 feet per second on the base path, sprint speed wise, he is a crazy threat on the base paths. Lots of speed, good glove. That's Dyrone Blanco for you. I'm sorry, he was born in Florida, Cuba. That's a crazy fun fact. Didn't know that existed. And then last but certainly not least, clearly the fastest player in all of Major League Baseball. You know him well. He's probably the most exciting player in the league right now outside of Shohei Otani. Ellie De La Cruz, third baseman, shortstop, freak of the Cincinnati Reds. It's nuts that a dude who's six foot five, 200 pounds is the fastest player in Major League Baseball. All these other guys are a little bit smaller. Ellie De La Cruz is by far the biggest of them all, and he is by far the fastest coming in at 30.5 feet per second. I mean, we've seen him steal second, third, home plate like it was absolutely nothing, and he's having a pretty good rookie season thus far at 21 years old. 58 games, 10 homers, 10 doubles, 4 triples, and 26 RBIs, stealing 18 bases, being caught only 5 times, hitting 264 with a 311 on base, 464 slugging, 776 OPS for an OPS plus at 104. Just one of the most fun players in all of Major League Baseball. The speed, the power, the glove, he hits just absolute tanks. He's like a better, faster, stronger O'Neal Cruz, who is one of the most exciting players in the league as well. 30.5 feet per second. I mean, you're going to see the clips on the screen of him running. Dude looks like he's gliding across the field. Such a talented player, a freak on the base paths. So those are the 10 fastest players in Major League Baseball. I'd love to know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section below. Is there someone that you thought would have been on the top 10 that isn't? Did you think Ellie De La Cruz was going to be number one? Because I mean, I did. He's freakishly fast. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed, as well as subscribe so you don't miss out. Should I do the fastest player for every Every team next, let me know in the comment section below. Follow me on my social media at Draft Deck Mark. Links are in description. And that's where I'm going to wrap it up, guys. You know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. And this is going to be the top 10 fastest players from the 2020 season. So keep an eye out for those. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye.